Right, um, smartphones and Pythagoras' theorem. Most people believe you can't. Uh, Pythagoras' theorem is no use in the real world. Well, we're going to look at how smartphones and Pythagoras' theorem uh, have a play here. So let's have a look. Basically, the age-old question: smartphones, Pythagoras' theorem. How can we make use of Pythagoras with smartphones? What we know of our smartphones is my smartphone retina display. To work out whether our smartphone is retina display, we need to use Pythagoras' theorem to work this out. What I've done here is I've taken an image of my particular phone, which is Zopo ZP998. I'll show you that uh, particular phone on the website just right now. So here's the uh, Zopo ZP998 specification. That's the phone image I've taken there and its display is 5.5 inch IPS 1080 times 920 pixels and it's a 24 bit di uh, the display uh, if I scroll further down um, what I'll see is my display information here I've got display information what I've got here is the diagonal size in inches 5.5 inches which is what we had at the top 139.7 millimeters or 13.97 centimeters what we're interested in is the 5.5 inches in our display in order to work out whether our phone is retina display next let's look at the resolution our display resolution is 1080p by 1920 pixels that's 1080 pixels across and 1920 pixels up and we'll come back to that on the uh, diagram in that I've uh, used in Microsoft Word so let's look at furthermore let's look at what our manufacturers claim as the pixel density the display pixel density is what we're working out now this uh, information about the number of pixels per centimeter or pixels per inch we're interested in working out the pixels per inch but the pixels per centimeter is no different the only difference is you need to use the centimeters uh, diagonal size as opposed to inch the higher the pixel density the more detailed and clearer is the information displayed on the screen that is perfect basically what we're looking for what now the manufacturers claim for this particular phone is the pixel density is 401 pixels per inch now that's an approximate pixels per inch there we can see the approximate sign is approximately equal to 401 pixels per inch that is fine what we're trying to work out is that uh, particular number if we can get that number we can actually sit, find out whether our smartphone and the manufacturers claim are exactly the same or thereabouts the same if it's somewhere near 401 pixels per inch we have our exact figure so let's uh, work this out the two pieces of information we need are the screen resolution which is there and the diagonal size in inches 5.5 inch which is there and the third piece is to compare the pixel density that they've worked out in pixels per inch which is that one 401 pixels per inch so the two pieces are most important are the resolution and diagonal size before I start I'm going to tell you what retina display is about basically retina display is a marketing term developed by Apple to refer to these devices and monitors that have a resolution and pixel density so high roughly 300 or more pixels per inch that a person is unable to dis discern the individual pixels at a normal viewing distance what we're looking for I believe um, when uh, Steve Jobs did, did his presentation with his iPhone I believe he actually mentioned it to be three, a good pixel resolution would be 320 pixels per inch so if we take the 320 pixels per inch as our retina display as opposed to 300 um, which is what Steve Jobs claimed so if we take 320 to be our retina display the Zopo currently that we've seen is 401 pixels per inch so it is a lot better in terms of clarity in terms of screen clarity 
what we're going to do is try and prove that that particular Zopo is 401 pixels per inch. In doing so, we can work out any smartphone's uh, reti whether a smartphone is, has retina display or not. So let's uh, start on this uh, Zopo smartphone. So basically, what we're trying to do is use Pythagoras' theorem to work out if our Zopo is a smartphone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, corner of this uh, phone and I'm going to draw a triangle just on top of it on its display screen so we have a rough triangle that basically we have a right angle triangle here so that we can work out using Pythagoras' theorem how many pixels per inch we have in this leading diagonal there so I'll um, what I'll do is copy that triangle move it across move it down at the bottom what we have now is that triangle with its uh, I'm going to mark its actual sizes so uh, let's take the sizes that we have on screen so the screen resolution is 1080 by 1920 pixels so if we take 1920 pixels um, I'm just going to leave it as P so uh, basically that means 1920 pixels in height and what I'll have is 1080 pixels in width on our phone what we want to work out is this diagonal if we can work out this diagonal what we want to work out is this leading diagonal here and once we work out the diagonals pixels we can actually divide those pixels by the diagonal size which is the 5.5 inch in order to work out the pixel density okay so let's get started using Pythagoras' theorem I believe the equation should be here and there we go nicely put in there a squared plus b squared equals c squared our a squared is 1920 pixels and b, b squared will be 1080 squared 1920 squared by 1080 squared what we're working out is this value c question mark so let's uh, let's try this right now uh, I'm just going to input an equation, insert an equation, so I'm going to put in the values 1920 squared plus b squared which is our 1080p, 1080 squared and equals C squared. What we have is that as our formula currently. Now we can work the 1920 squared out and the 1080p squared, add it all together, and then basically we square root it to work out a diagonal uh, C in pixels. So let's do that. It's a bit slow on this, but. Um, let's get started C will equal I've just changed the value the other way around to make it much easier for me to work this out um, C equals what we'll do is put in the values now uh, square root if I get the square root value that one square root of 1920 squared plus 1080 squared we will get our value for C what I'm going to do is use this value control C just below it to work our value C out control V and I'm going to simplify this 
with the sieve inside the bracket I can't simplify so um, let's just uh, simplify this equation compute calculate we have 120 root 337 now root we don't want this as that what we want it as is decimal if we can have it as decimal value it should be say to two decimal places try that again compute calculate it seems to um, give it me give me the value in root so what I'll do is work this out again manually um, let's delete this and this let's go into there what I'll do is work this out on a calculator C equals as opposed to using the root value so we have a precise value for the thing okay here's the calculator 90 20 pixels squared plus 10 80 squared now we can I've just pressed equals so it's added the two square values together now I'm going to square root that value square rooting is the same as to the power of 0 0.5 that's basically square root now the square root value the diagonal has 2202 pixels in the diagonal so I'm just going to put that value in 2000 200 uh, 2202 pixels point whatever the precise value is 907 I'm going to round it to three decimal places okay 907 so our C value is that now that we've worked out our C value using Pythagoras' theorem what we need to do is work out the pixel density the pixel density is equal to a leading diagonal divided by the 5.5 .5 inches we have in our diagonal screen size so let's do that now it's just below I'm just going to insert another equation new equation so I'm going to take my C size and divide that by I'm just going to put C which is two two zero two point nine zero seven divided by five point five inches. Now, if I can simplify that, it'd be ideal. Uh, let's have a look whether it will simplify to two decimal places. Let's calculate that. Oh, it won't. <laughs> okay so i'm gonna have to carry this one out as this particular step out on the calculator as well generally would um so i'm gonna put this as pix pixel density is what we're looking for okay pixel uh, density equals this is whether it's our retina display or not I'm going to work this out on the calculator and okay just copied and pasted that value and I'm going to work it out on the calculator now I'll take the exact figure that I've got there and divide that by 5.5 inch we have 400.52 pixels precisely so 400.52 pixels pixels per inch right that is what we're coming up with 405 pixels 400.52 pixels per inch actually it's 53 rounded to two decimal places 53 pixels per inch now what the manufacturers have done here is basically they've rounded to the nearest whole number which is 401 pixels which is what we're getting anyway that is um, basically approximately equal to 
if we go into there, we can have the approximate equal sign. We have the approximately equal to 401 pixels per inch. That is exactly what we're getting. If we round up that 400 up to the nearest pixel per inch, we have 401 pixels per inch, which is exactly what we're getting as the claim from the manufacturers. And that is basically what we're working out to find out whether our smartphone has retina display. And yes, it does have retina display simply because the pixel density shows 401 pixels and anything, any uh, pixel density, then it's greater, greater than uh, 320 pixels per inch is retina display. So yes, our phone, my particular phone, is retina display and we've proved this using Pythagoras' theorem and working out the pixel density for that particular phone. Every phone is exactly the same. The method to work out any smartphone is exactly the same and this is the approach that you need to use in order to work out the pixel density and to work out whether your smartphone is retina display. The retina display is what we look, what have literally worked out in this particular case. So next time you buy your own smartphone, think about how, uh, what to do and how to purchase a reasonable retina display screen when you purchase your smartphone. So um, have a good look at the uh, video. If you do like my video, please press like on the video and I will leave this document uh, for download so you can download this particular document as well as a reference guide to working out the retina display. Okay, I'll also uh, add a few uh, key notes in there which is the retina display uh, information within the uh, document itself and the display specifications within the document itself so you will uh, basically know where I've got this piece of information from um, for my particular phone and you, you will have a reference guide to that within the document itself so I'll, you'll, you'll might see a slightly different document when you download this but um, have a look at it have a look at it and please press like on the uh, video cheers